Hi everyone, Jamie Trill here, your favorite CPA and profit strategist. And today we're gonna to be talking a little bit more about financial levers or profit levers. So I've been talking about this quite a bit lately and it's because I'm really passionate about, about this idea of how we can make more profit, specifically with less hustle, okay? I really want to help you figure out how to optimize your finances, how to make more profit, i.e. put more money in your pocket from your business at the end of the day without having to run yourself ragged. And that's where these financial levers come in okay we're talking about picturing an actual lever on your wall that you can pull in order to make more profit now maybe it's not quite as easy as that but knowing these strategies can be really really helpful this is going to be the overview of what those six levers are but i'm going into detail on this in my free masterclass. So depending on when you're watching this, it may be open. We have two more classes available. One of them is on Friday, the uh, 27th, I believe, <laughs> the 27th of January, 2023. The next one is gonna be on Sunday. That one's gonna be a PJ party. If you wanna join us, wear your PJs. Uh, so Sunday, January 29th, 2023, that is going to be our last one. So hopefully you can join and you can go more in depth into this with me, but I do wanna give you this overview. So whether you join the masterclass or not, hopefully you get something out of this. So jumping in, we're gonna talk about lever number one, which is volume, okay? Volume is lever number one. What does that mean when I talk about volume? That means sales volume, how much are you selling? And typically we're talking about two new customers, right? How much are we selling? And that's the one we love to focus on, but that's the one that really makes us have to hustle, right? Hustling for more sales all the time. That's the one we think about when we're not meeting profit is to say, okay, what can I do? Well, I can sell more, right? But that can be super exhausting. And I will say that when we talk about these other five levers, if you focus on them first, it's actually going to make each and every sale you make more profitable. So it's better to focus on those other five levers first and then come back to volume and then focus on that lever. Okay, so lever number two, probably another one you are familiar with, and that is price, okay? Price means the amount that you are charging for the product or service that you are offering. So whatever that price is, that is the amount that your customer is paying for that thing. So obviously to increase more profit, right? Because profit is basically just a function of revenue minus expenses. Well, we can increase our price. And in theory, that should increase our profit. But we do have to balance that a little bit and we have to make sure that we're thinking about the impact that increasing our price could have on volume, which is the other lever, right? So it can be not quite as simple as just always raising your price, but it can be an effective strategy when the right conditions are present, which we talk about in the masterclass. Now moving on, lever number three. This one you might not have heard of, and this is one of my favorite ones because it's so simple and yet we miss it all the time. Lever number three is mix. That's what it's called. And mix really refers to the mixture of products and services that you sell, right? So when we're talking about the mixture, we're talking about the percentage. So if your uh, entire book of sales makes up 100%, right? But you look at the different products, services, packages, whatever it is that you sell and figure out what percentage of that full 100% pie is, is coming from each and every one of your uh, products and services. Now, the thing that kind of um, hits us here that makes this a little bit tougher is that I'm not talking about revenue, right? Mix is about figuring out what's most profitable for your business and selling more of that, okay? And profit is not the same as revenue. In fact, some of your highest priced, right, things that you sell might actually have some of your lowest profit margins. And so knowing your profit margins on a really intimate level by a product or service basis is really the only way you're gonna be able to see what your optimal mix is, right? And if you shift sales, right, from your, from your least profitable items, products and services to your most profitable products and services, you can sell the exact same amount that you sold, the exact same volume as before. You don't have to change your prices at all and you can get an increase in profitability. And that is one of the simplest ways to do it without any hustle. It's just being knowledgeable and being aware. And that is the benefit we get when we understand and are really clear about our numbers. All right, lever number four. Lever number four is average transaction value, which probably sounds similar to price, but it is different, right? We're talking about 
Are there additional things maybe we could upsell to or that would complement what our customer is already buying from us that they might also want that we could offer, right? Is there an add-on of some type? So oftentimes they're small, right? Think of a grocery store when you're grabbing a pack of gum on the way out. That's why that's there. That's to increase their average transaction volume. So what can you have as kind of that on the way out? Oh, would you also like? <laughs> and that can bump up your average transaction volume which then in turn makes it such that you're gonna increase your profitability without even getting new customers because you're just adding a little bit to each customers or at least even just a portion of your customers who are buying from you. It's way easier to sell to someone who's already buying from you than to sell to a brand new person. So a lot of us are missing opportunities when it comes to average transaction value. Again, it doesn't require any hustle. It just requires being smart about what you offer and making sure that you're offering to your clients anything they may want. Okay. Lever number five, here we are. Now we have left the world of revenue, right? All of the first four levers were focused on increasing our revenue in our business. And these next two are about costs. So number five is about direct costs and number six is about indirect costs. And that is an important thing to really distinguish between direct costs the way that I teach direct costs anyway, are costs that are very easy to attribute to a particular product or service, right? So if you're making a sale, then that cost is gonna vary directly with the number of sales that you have, not indirectly. A lot of the other stuff that we pay for in our business that covers maybe multiple different clients or sales, right? It's more overhead in nature. Those I would consider more indirect costs. So if you have trouble knowing, you know, when you make a sale, if it's difficult to allocate that cost, um, easily to the sale that you're making, it's probably an indirect cost, okay? So direct costs, you want to reduce as much as possible. And you wanna think about how you can reduce them without uh, declining the quality of the thing that you sell. So that can be, you know, if you're in a product-based business, how can you reduce the costs to make that product uh, to give to your customers, right? if you're creating it. And part of that cost also might be your time, right? And especially if you're a service-based business, then your direct cost might be your time or the time of employees. So remember the time is money. How can you decrease the amount of time that it takes to be able to service that customer, right? That's really the question that we need to ask ourselves. So that is really looking at direct costs and figuring out how can we be more efficient? How can we maybe um, negotiate our prices down a little bit such that we make more profit margin on every sale that we make. And then differently, but kind of similarly, looking over at indirect costs, that's gonna be more your overhead, right? Software programs that you use throughout your business, admin, staff, um, insurance, things like that. We wanna look at that and think about how can we reduce or eliminate some of the expenses that aren't providing a return and how do we free up more money to reinvest into our business to make more money, right? We don't wanna cut everything in our business that can be counterproductive. It's one of the mistakes I see business owners make all the time is overcutting things that actually end up shooting them in the foot, right? They're afraid to invest when investing in their business would make them quite a bit more than the upfront cost. We have to have a long-term view when we're looking at indirect costs. So we need to be spending on the right things and spending less on the wrong things, okay? So those are my six profit levers, six financial levers. There are a lot more, but those are the ones that I think business owners should focus on first. I came from a corporate background. We used to look at these levers all the time when it came to uh, figuring out how we're gonna meet our profit goals, right? Which lever do we wanna pull? And you likely can't pull them all at the same time because some of them are gonna work against each other. So you have to kind of pick what makes the most sense for your business, for your business model, for your customers, and for you. But ultimately there's a lot of things that we can control when it comes to uh, our profitability. It's not accidental. We have to be really intentional with it. And the more intentional we are, the better results we're going to have. So that was the quick 10 minute version <laughs> of the profit levers, but I go into this a lot more detail and give you more ideas and things to think about when it comes to profit levers in my masterclass. So make sure to join us. I'm also gonna give you my free profitability maximizer worksheet that will help you figure out the impact of making tweaks on various levers in your business and which one is gonna have the best potential impact to your bottom line and profitability, okay? So you wanna make sure to sign up for the masterclass and you get that profitability maximizer worksheet if you show up live. 
So I want you to be there either tomorrow, Friday the 27th, or Sunday the 29th for our PJ party. And it's gonna be fun, and hopefully you learn quite a bit, and it's totally free. So I'll see you there, jamietrawl.com forward slash masterclass. Bye for now.